Good morning. I am Kevin Price. Delighted to be with you. Going to spend some time talking to you about you and your business. I want to t- mention real quickly before we get de- started here that today's show brought to you in part by our friends from Corsa Law Group and Carlton Staffing. Um, been doing a series of program about Inc. 5000 companies, about those up and coming small businesses in the Inc. 5000 uh, universe. And uh, looking forward to this interview. Uh, key, you know, the credit repair is one of those things that you know the the quality can range from extremely high to really shifty you know if you see the the white signs made out of construction paper on the side of the freeway you might want to just avoid those companies who are offering credit repair you need to do your vetting and this company you know uh we've done some homework uh it looks pretty extraordinary actually and we're excited to talk to him today. Nick Sukalis, he is the uh, CEO of a company out there called Key Credit Repair. And Nick, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me, Kevin. Start real quickly with your elevator speech. Tell us a little bit about your company. Give us that panoramic overview. Well, we've uh, been around for just shy of a decade. Uh, we're an A-plus accredited company with the Better Business Bureau, helping consumers specifically repair their credit. So they can uh, get into some future financing so they can uh, uh, invest wisely in, with their mortgages and their car loans so they can get to that job. And, and uh, we've been doing successfully uh, through a wonderful referral network um, for, uh, for just about nine years now. Mm-hmm. Talk a little, first of all, where are you all co- uh, corporately located? We're out of the Boston, Massachusetts area, home of your uh, New England Patriots. No, no, home of your New England Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that. You know, I live in Houston, so you know they're going to remind me of that. So, uh, and uh, by the way, I'm going to be there this week. So that's kind of interesting. I was going to say it's kind of cool, but that's an understatement, right? <laughs> What's the weather it's like today? Cool. <laughs> What's the- um, I, you know, this morning was a, a cool ten, I think, ten or degrees. 12. Yeah. My wife is nuts. But anyway, yeah, we need to go to Boston. Yeah, I think that was a great idea. Like in June, you know, anyway, so uh, my adventure begins. <laughs> Talk a little bit about, you know, first of all, there are a lot of companies out there that are at, at best questionable, some of them criminal. Um, talking about why it attracts, you know, such elements and how people can find out whether or not the company they're approaching is a quality credit repair company. Well, the reason you can find such scrupulous companies uh, is really just, you know, think of the clientele you're working with. Our clients tend to be very vulnerable. They've gone through a rough patch and they're they're looking for help sometimes desperately. Um, and you'd have to excuse the noise. This is a, a busy city. Um, you know, they're vulnerable. They've gone through a rough patch and sometimes they're looking for a miracle that simply doesn't exist. Um, the trick with credit repair is there is no trick. It's hard work, a lot of letter writing for the credit agencies and the creditors, um, proactively dealing with debt, rebuilding credit and positive trade lines. These are all things that need to happen. It takes time and it's hard work. And uh, it's not a, an overnight, uh, it's not an overnight thing. Um, but there are some companies that will, that will give that impression. Um, and people who, uh, you know, people that are looking for that miracle will spend their last dollar and, and actually wind up broke. And it, it's sad to say, but uh, like many industries, that element exists. Um, you know, with our company, we've taken a lot of pride in taking time with the different consultations we do and giving our clients a roadmap. And that's the first thing consumers should be looking for. They should be looking for not just the service they can sign up for online, uh, but someone to sit down with them spend half an hour, spend an hour with them over the phone and give them a specific roadmap. So much of that is lost in this internet age of automatically signing up for things. Yeah. Talk a little bit about the, um, first of all, are your clients nationwide? Are you only helping people in Massachusetts? Where are your clients? We started as a pretty small little local company here. It was two of us for, um, for the first year. Um, and just through referrals, we ended up, uh, growing out and, and hitting, uh, Pretty much every corner of the United States, including Guam, Hawaii, um, so we're all we're all over. At least, at least digitally, we are. Sure, yeah, that's fantastic. Typically, uh, you know, when you sit down across the table for a client, obviously, uh, you're going to be able to help the person with the five fifty uh, score a little slower than the person with the six fifty score if their objective is the seven hundred range. But you know, typically, how do you set expectations for a potential client? Because you're right, they do want a miracle. 
Well, you have to understand the nature of each of the negative trade lines that do appear on the credit report. You have to understand how the statute of limitations factors in, and you have to get the story on each account from the consumer to find out what ammunition you have to deal with that trade line and, and if you have ammunition. So if you don't interview the client and find out the backstory on each thing, it's impossible to. Um, if, if, if you don't, then then what happens is the consumer ends up just signing up for what we call a credit repair mill, and, and all they're doing is signing up for a service to, to send template letters out to the bureaus to try to delete things, and that really just defeats the purpose. So you gotta you gotta do that interview. It's important. Yeah, yeah. And typically, how long is that interview? You know, it ranges anywhere between ten minutes to half an hour. It's it's a simple process, um, but it's uh it's it's needed. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm assi- how long does a typical relationship with a client last? We'll typically work with a client over the course of somewhere between four and six months. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm sure because there's a, some people that really need to do a lot of additional work before they can even hire you because of how bad their situation is, or is that not the case? That is the case. So in certain cases, we have clients, they're not really ready for a credit repair program. They may be just going through some financial issues. Um, They have all the good intentions in the world of wanting to get better credit, but maybe they're out of work right now. So the means aren't there. Or maybe they're going through a bankruptcy and getting all of their debt expunged. So there are some, some some pre-stages to this process where in certain cases we can't take a client on, but I would say eight out of 10 times we can help somebody with something, but there are those rare cases. Mm -hmm. So um, what kind of credit score do you typically see uh, for people that come in and looking for your services? No, our average client is somewhere in the mid to high 500s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, a decade ago that was, That was bankable. You know, when subprime lending was around, that was still a viable credit score to get some sort of home financing. And and you know better than anyone else, right now, the banks and lenders aren't even having a conversation with you if they find out you're below 640. So these consumers, which it's about a third of the United States, a third of consumers, um, they're left in the dust here. And a lot of them are actually working hard. They, They have full time employment. Many of them have a down payment to put down on home, but they don't understand the dynamics of their credit score enough to navigate the score back so they can, so they can buy that house that maybe they're renting for twice the cost. And, you know, that we, we need those consumers back in our market right now. Nick, thanks Definitely. so much for being with us. I appreciate it. Learn more about his company at keycreditrepair.com. That's keycreditrepair.com. Thanks for being with us. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, the show continues 24-7 at priceofbusiness.com. By the way, you can see great archives there of our television show on the Biz TV Network. Stay tuned for more after this.